Hi, y'all. I'm Diego, Alicia, and today we'll be making suadero tacos like we do in Texas. They're delicious, some of my favorites, and we're gonna get right into it. All right, so we're gonna get started. For this, we'll be using brisket, the staple of Texas barbecue. It's smoked low and slow for a long time to get it nice and tender. Now in suadero, we do the same thing, except it's braised for a long time. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut our brisket. So we're just gonna cut it into chunks that are very manageable in size and that we can uh, easily mince and chop later on when the brisket's done. Once our brisket's cut, we're gonna add it to the Dutch oven. So our, our brisket's in. We're going to add the rest of our ingredients. And dry chiles are something so special to cook with. We have our guajillos, we have anchos, as well as pasilla peppers. They're gonna go right into the pot. And then to that, we're gonna add serrano peppers. Now these are spicy. They're gonna confit for a long time. Some fresh garlic as well. We're gonna add a few cloves into the pot. And last but not least, we're gonna add fresh onion. And the last bit we're gonna do is our beef fat. Now this is a rendered beef fat, so it's warm and ready to go. Very versatile, you can cook all kinds of things with beef fat, but it's essential for the confiting of our suadero today. We're gonna pop it in the oven, about 300 degrees for 12, 13 hours. All right, our brisket's out of the oven, and uh, here we have it. That smells incredible, by the way. Now we're gonna fish out our ingredients for the salsa. Some of the garlic, some of the onion, and some of the peppers, this should be enough. Next step is to get these tomatoes roasted. These aromas, they're gonna get a very smoky flavor from the charring of the skins. It's gonna be a little while. Make sure you rotate them and, and turn them around so you can get an even char. These are looking nice and roasted. We gotta take them off the heat, and put them into our bowl so we can make our salsa. For our salsa, we have our ingredients ready to go. We have our roasted tomatoes, comfy onions, garlic, and peppers. We're gonna add a little bit of fresh cilantro, a splash of salt. We're gonna finish it off with our Estrella Jalisco lager. I like my salsa chunky, so we're gonna pulse it instead of blending it. I don't want a smooth puree. I just want a, um, a nice, chunky texture. And there it is. It's exactly what we want. We're getting into our brisket. Now remember, it's been cooking for about 12, 13 hours now. I wanted to use this slow cook texting technique to really break down that Mexican suadero. We're gonna get some of the meat in here, and some of the dried chilies as well, some of the garlic and onion, and we're gonna transfer it over into our cutting board. We're gonna use the chef's knife, but as you can see, it's super tender, and you'll see those little bits of uh, charred meat and the pink of the brace, as well as the uh, coloration from the dried chilies. I have everything I need. Tortillas, suadero, salsas and garnish, and my Sea Jalisco Classic Michelada. And now we're gonna get tortillas going in the fat top. Just to warm them up on each side. Once we're warm enough, we'll grab a plate and we're gonna build our tacos. Start off with suadero first. We're gonna finish it off with our salsa, a little bit of cilantro, and last but not least, a little bit of lime juice. So there you have it, tacos de suadero, using Texas brisket. I made a salsa with Estrella Jalisco, or salsa borracha, or drunken salsa. Some of my personal favorites, and I hope they become some of yours as well. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.